Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Matt, here. And welcome to a brand new Matt Movie right here on the Matt's Movies channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys my cell project, which I did for school. So, at my school, we were assigned to do this project in science class where we had to, like, choose, like, a plant or animal cell and create it. I made mine out of Lego, which is really cool, and I chose a plant cell. And... I think it turned out really good. I decided to show you guys right here. So, yeah. So, here we go. So, this is the cell project itself. The the main kind of, like, base of it. <clears throat> you can see, like, right here on the outer edge, I have two kind of sets of, um, of tiles I've got. On the outer edge, it's light gray, and the inner edge is dark gray. The outer edge represents the cell wall, which, like, um, a lot, which, like, protects the cell, the plant cell from, um, like, stuff from the outside and stuff like that, so you guys are getting a little bit of a science lesson here as well. And then there's the cell membrane, which is kind of like a gatekeeper, which lets things in and out of the cell, um, itself, so, yeah, very cool. And I made that, so the light gray is the cell wall, cell membrane is the dark gray. And then on the inner, and in the inner here, it's, like, a, a whole bunch of really cool weird contraptions you can see these little studs right here are the cytoplasm the cytoplasm are like little it's like a, a watery substance inside the cell and i represented that with a bunch of um lego studs light gray lego studs uh this one has a hole in it as you can see this one too um but yeah so a bunch of studs right here to represent the cytoplasm then right here is the chloroplast so um, yeah, so I made that with a bunch of, uh, green Lego bricks, and, um, the chloroplast, I believe it, like, helps absorb, um, sun and carbon dioxide to create food for the plants also. Very cool, and I made it with a bunch of, um, uh, green Lego bricks again, so, yeah. Then this white thing right here is called the vacuole, so the vacuole is basically a storage compartment for the, um, for, like, food and water and waste, which it eventually gets rid of, so, yeah. And I made that with a bunch of really cool, um, white bricks as well. Like, I made it with, like, some white tiles and some white bricks and stuff like that, so very cool. And then <clears throat> right here is this red kind of outer thing, which surrounds the nucleus, which we're going to get to in a moment. That's called the nuclear membrane. So the nuclear membrane basically, or basically, sorry, basically, um, <clears throat> basically surround, it basically, like, surrounds the outer edge of the nucleus, and I made it with a bunch of really cool, um, red bricks, like this, um, gridded piece right here, a whole bunch of tiles and some other red bricks, and basically kind of made it go, not all the way around, because it didn't really go all the way around in, like, pictures I've seen, so I just made it go, like, halfway around, so, and then, of course, th here it is, the nucleus, so, the nucleus is basically the control center of the cell itself with a bunch of really cool, um, and I made it with a bunch of really cool yellow bricks. And it's basically the brain of the cell itself, so very cool. The bottom, not too particular exciting, just a bunch of random bricks to hold it all together, so yeah. So, with that in mind, uh, that kind of wraps up this video showcasing my LEGO cell project. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. It would be appreciated. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of this. And let me know if you guys have, like, done a cell project like this before. Maybe it could be out of Lego. Maybe it could just be out of other materials. Who knows? So let me know in the comments section below. So um, with that in mind, peace out, and I will see you later.